Okay, this video is on how your childhood trauma plays out in adulthood and how it holds so many people back. Now, the easiest way to start this out is you should know that whatever childhood needs were not met as a child, generally we seek to overcompensate to meet them in our adulthood through our trauma responses is what I call them. These seven childhood needs that I'm about to explain to you, you're gonna see how if they were not met as a child, you would overcompensate to meet them in your adulthood. And I'm gonna give you some examples as well. This helps you hopefully to become more aware in how you, you know, are you acting from a trauma response or are you acting from your authentic self when stress uh, happens or, you know, occurs in your life. So. These are the seven ch core childhood needs, by the way, first. So the first childhood need is a need to feel seen, right? That we feel seen enough by our, you know, authority figures in our life. Essentially, you normally it's our parents. The second childhood need is we feel heard enough that what we say, you know, matters and that what we say, you know, we feel fully heard in what we say that helps to give us significance and validation and acceptance, right? Which is very important. The third childhood need is the need to feel understood. You have to feel that you can communicate yourself in a way that people understand you. Otherwise you start to feel that your communication is not enough, lacks, you know, I guess significance or meaning. And so I think that's very important to know that we have a need to feel understood. We have a need to feel significant when we're growing up as well. If you did not feel significant enough growing up to the people that you respected or admired, uh, then you know it's very easy for you to feel insignificant in your adulthood. The, the fifth human need is you had a need to feel uh, validated and accepted. So if you didn't feel accepted for who you were and validated for who you were, then it's very often in your adulthood right now that you're doing things to seek that external validation and acceptance now because it was not met enough in childhood. And the sixth human need is the need to feel loved. You have to feel loved enough. You know, that's really important growing up. You know, that's our oxygen growing up. And if we don't receive enough of that, then we definitely have a need to do things to seek that externally through certain trauma ways. And then the last need is really that you do need to feel that you were given enough attention. If you did not get enough attention, you also seek that to overcompensate to have that met in your in your adulthood as well. So I knew a lady actually, and she felt growing up that these needs were not met. Seen, heard, understood, significant, feeling validated and accepted, loved, and that she was given enough attention. So the way that played out in her life is she actually, whenever somebody else needed her, um, you know, to have their own emotional needs met or, you know, essentially she would drop everything and sacrifice herself to meet the emotional needs of that person because she did not feel her emotional needs, these needs were met herself growing up. And she, therefore, she felt so much pain and loss about that, she did not want others to feel that pain and loss and she felt that she's believed subconsciously the only way to have these needs met internally is by depending on somebody else. So I think that is super important to recognize. I had another lady as well, I took on a retreat once and she actually was always talking at the table. She always had to be talking. She could never hear anybody else. She was always had to be the one speaking and I asked her about it and she came out that she said when she was growing up, that she did not feel heard enough as a child. She did not feel that what she said mattered. And when somebody doesn't feel like what they say matters, then that would cause somebody to always be questioning what they say, to you know be having uh, uh, an excessive need to talk, and that's how it's playing out for her. So I think if you've got to ask yourself, do I have this external need as such uh, to feel? you know, this seen, heard, understood, significant, validated, accepted, and you know, and, and uh, loved and given enough attention because very a lot of people will design their life from a place of fear to meet these needs that were not met in childhood. And that's how it leads to, you know, so much, uh, you know, more stress in people's lives 
where they do things like they sacrifice themselves for others. They will, you know, have this excessive need to talk. They will struggle to hear other people. They will do things to feel externally validated. And it's so easy for them to feel not enough because these needs are not met. Maybe you, you know, you get very anxious when, uh, you know, people don't respond to you or don't give you the love back that you want. Maybe it's, you're easily triggered into feel not enough. You, you know, you, you know what your trauma, you, you know, how much these needs are met as well by how, e how quickly or what does it take for you to feel not enough, right? And very often, if you look at it, it's probably because of one of these childhood needs that were not met. So I hope that helps you and gives you some understanding and some awareness. You know, you need to know that you're worthy of all of these uh, needs being met, um, you know, by the people that you value in your life and by yourself. And so go out and live from that place. By the way, click on the link to subscribe or let me know what you think in the comments and what value you got out of this.